Okay, so here's the second demonstration that I'm going to do. And in this demonstration, I'm going to use a piece of aluminum, which is a metal. And so we know metals, we know aluminum uh, is an electron wimp. And I'm going to use, again, an electron bully. And what, um, what we know about metals is that they hold their electrons so loosely that the electrons can flow through them and actually make a current, a current of electricity. Uh, that's why we use metal for wire and things like that. Copper holds onto its electrons very loosely, so it's a good conductor. It allows electrons to flow through it. So what I'm uh, expecting will happen is that this um, when I charge this negatively by rubbing it, rubbing it against my shirt so it has a negative charge and I move it toward the metal, the electrons in the metal that are negative will be repelled by the negative balloon. And so as I move the balloon closer, the electrons will actually flow away from it and they won't leave the metal. The metal will still have the same number of protons and electrons, so the metal won't get a charge. But this side of the metal, closer to the negative balloon, will lose electrons as they flow away from it. So this part of the metal will be more positive and this part will be more negative. Okay, so that's important because if these two legs of the balloon, if this one's negative and this one's negative, they're going to repel each other and they're actually going to spread apart, sort of like when a cop pushes you up against a car, you know, and says, okay, hands on the car, spread them, and your legs move apart, your feet move apart, so that's why I called this spread them, and um, hopefully you haven't had that experience much, but um, it's an induced charge. You bring the negative balloon near the end of the um, aluminum and the electrons will flow away. And this end, because it loses electrons, will be positive. This end will become more negative and it's called an induced charge. And as soon as you take the balloon away, it, you know, the electrons will flow back. Um, but, okay, that's what it, we're predicting is going to happen. So. Now I'm going to uh, set up the experiment here, and you can see that I've got um, the aluminum draped over the top of a ruler, and I've got a balloon. I'm actually going to use this blue balloon, and I'm going to rub it on my shirt with plenty of vigor, trying to get it charged. So I'm rubbing the balloon, and now I'm going to look. Oh, I should have done it first without. Okay, first I'm not going to rub it. So first I'm just going to lower the balloon. No charge, no action. Okay, now I'm going to rub it on my shirt. So that was part one. This is part two. And then I'm going to lower this. As it moves closer, you can see. The legs vibrate, and when I move the balloon up and down, you can see that they're actually spreading, coming back together. When the balloon comes closer, the charge goes to the bottom, the legs push apart. When the balloon gets further away, that, that stops. Okay, so you might not think this is really cool, but it is.